right, so we're uh, on with the fertiliser spreader again. We're on the wheat after oilseed rain. Uh, and it's looking tremendous to be honest. We're really happy with the, uh, the wheat up here. Uh, we're busy spreading nitrogen on, 46% uh, nitrogen. It's urea. Uh, so it's urea fertiliser, 46% nitrogen, if I can speak right. Uh, we're putting it on variable rate. It's the first time we've done variable rate nitrogen uh, on the system we use. We get like a satellite image, like when satellites get an image of the field, and then it's got a system on where it works out the green area, and then it puts a map on the, the fertilizer spreader. So we're putting on, it's, it should be average of 150 kilos a hectare. So at the minute we're in a quite a thick bit, so it's got it down to 120, but there's some thinner thinner bits further down the field, which it's up to like 160 in places. So it, it averages out about right, but it's as it's the first time we've done it, so we'll, hopefully it helps even stuff out. Because what we're hoping is where it's thicker at the minute, uh, we're going to put less on, and where it's thinner, we're putting more on, on like these first applications, and hopefully it encourages the thinner bits to tiller out more, and then when we get to like the last application, because we might do three or four splits on the wheat, I'm not sure yet, but when we get on the last application, we'll um, put more where it's thicker, and less where it's thinner to try and feed the crop up like the thicker bits there to you know help help the thicker bits get what they need. So I think if you if you keep if you keep uh, putting less on where it's thicker, that thicker crop potential will probably go down because obviously if it's a thicker crop it will need more at some point. So that's our idea with it and what we're thinking of. It's either 145 now and it goes 140, 150 in this area. It seems to be going well. And it's one of those things where before I, before I did the maps on it, like before I've come out and spread, I had a quick look over the fields and compared what the satellite images thought were the thinner and thicker parts of what we could actually see in the field to make sure it was right and it's pretty much bang on. Uh, it's where, where we are, you know, we'll give it a try, see how it goes. Right, we're on the last field now. It's, uh, I was going to say before we were in the Costello fields and uh, they look really good. This, this Gleam field looks really good. We're really happy with how it's turned out. Uh, it's better than the other two. The other two should have been subsoiled, but we'll learn. Yeah, so we've got um, that long pole uh, with the combine knife section on and it's so uh, you don't have to go underneath, obviously with a pocket knife you have to go underneath when you cut the bags and so you can stand back and cut it back. Does anyone else use variable rate nitrogen? Because obviously this is our our first first time using it so I don't know if it will make much of a difference but do you notice if it makes much of a difference? You know? either in terms of yield or making fields like evening them up. I would be interested in uh, interested to hear. Just Yeah so this was uh, wheat after beans this coming alright. Uh, we'll go and put it in the shed. 
so we got it washed off yesterday. Uh, just brought it outside and let it dry off a bit. Because as you can see, it's all still a bit damp inside. Because uh, the weather, the weather's going to be pretty crap, I think, after today. So we'll let it dry out now, and then it'll be ready for the next thing to use it. So uh, I think I'll call out a video and I'll see you guys later.